everyone, welcome back to Fresh and Healthy YouTube. As promised, getting a little bit more consistent on these videos. So now that I'm at my new location, new house for the next four months for my last rotation of my dietetic internship. So next video up, top four metabolism myths. Number one is our metabolisms can't change. As much as some parts of our metabolism and our resting metabolic rate are based on genetics, that is not what makes up all of it. How do we increase our metabolism? By increasing our lean muscle mass. Putting on muscle does burn more calories than fat does. So if you increase your muscle mass and you decrease your fat mass, you will be naturally, as you're just sitting or standing or living your daily life, be burning a little bit more calories. No, it's not a huge, like hundreds of calories a day, but it can add up over time. Myth number two, a diet of green tea and red peppers is gonna boost your metabolism. Even though some of those foods show in studies that they increase your metabolism very slightly for a very small amount of time, it's not near enough to offset calories that you eat through even one piece of food. So no, those eating like tons of chili peppers, hot sauce, or drinking a ton of green tea, all those articles that say, oh, these belly fat burning foods or things like that, Myth number three, eating late at night will slow down your metabolism. Studies have even shown that eating a small nutrient dense snack right before bed can help increase your metabolism and also just increase your satiety so when you wake up in the morning you aren't eating as much. And honestly, in general, it's the total amount of calories you're eating in a day that's gonna cause weight gain. It's not gonna be when you eat them. So if you're eating the same amount of calories but just happen to have a snack at night, that's not gonna cause weight gain. It's total calories. And last one, myth number four, very low calorie diets and skipping meals can jumpstart weight loss. Guys, I see this way too often and people think it's great and it's effective because they get instant results, but it just goes to bite you in the butt, so don't do it. Weight loss is about creating energy deficits, so you have to consume less than you burn in a total day. But if you create too large of deficits, you're only going to have your body be breaking down muscle and storing fat and so even if you do initially lose weight, it's gonna be the wrong kind of weight and you're not gonna look any better because you're gonna have more fat and less muscle. And in the long term, you're gonna be burning less and slowing your metabolism down because like we said with myth number one, muscle burns more than fat. So very low calorie diets, anything for women. I see a lot of women below 13, 1200 calories. Don't do it, don't, don't, don't do it. And then skipping meals is a real no-no because all that does is lead to binge eating and eating way too large of meals later on. I actually saw these myths on an article on the Academy of Nutrition and Dietetics website and I love a lot of the information they put out there so just wanted to share it with you guys. But until next time, comment below what's the biggest myth you've seen out there on the internet or ask any questions that you want me to break it or tell you that it's true. Until next time, bye guys.